Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have another very fun problem for you guys today. Um, this one was posted on the Art of Problem Solving Forum by Parmenides, who always posts um, a lot of very good problems. So thank you, Parmenides. Um, this is from a 2001 Olympiad in Argentina. Um, so if you would like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the problem. So we have a triangle ABC, um, and a angle ABC is less than angle ACB. Uh, the bisector of angle BAC meets side BC at point D. Uh, e is um, on AB so that DE is perpendicular to BC. And F is on AC so that angle BD is equal to angle DEF. And we wanna prove that angle BAD is equal to angle FDC. So how do we get started here? Um, well, what's kind of interesting is uh, you can see we have two angle bisectors. So AD is a bisector of angle BAC um, just from the problem statement. But then also ED is the angle bisector of BEF um, from this condition since angle BED is an angle DEF. So we have two angle bisectors um, that both sort of meet at the same point D. So how do we take advantage of that? Well, both of the angle bisectors also pass through the point F, or, or both of the angles pass through F. So one thing I thought is, what if we um, try to make them also pass through another point? So I'm gonna try to construct that point G. So um, you can see, so if we let FD intersect AB at point G, then basically both of those angles that get bisected, they both pass through points F and G, and they both, the bisectors both meet at the same point D. Um, so why did I do this? So there's this sort of well-known um, theorem in geometry. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but um, let's say you have the segment FG um, and you wanna figure out what are all the points uh, such that when I, let's say all the points P such that when I bisect angle FPG, it meets it at point D. And it, it turns out that if you take the locus of all those points, it's actually, uh, a circle with diameter passing through D, and the other endpoint of that diameter has to lie on the line FG. So I'm not sure how many of you that have seen this before. I think it might be called the Apollonius circle, but basically E is a point such that the bisector of FEG passes through D, and A is another point such that the bisector of FAG passes through D. So both those points have to lie on a circle um, with diameter um, one point, with diameter, let's say, dk, or k is some other point on line fg. Um, so if you haven't seen this theorem, I'm actually going to try to prove it through my video here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a perpendicular uh, to the line AD, and I'm going to see where it hits line FG. I'm going to let it intersect at a point K. And then, so angle, so I claim that uh, E and A actually have to pass through the circle with diameter DK. Uh, so why is this true? Um, well, there's a well-known theorem that says that if, if AD is the angle bisector of FAG, then if I take a perpendicular to AD through A and I let it meet line FG at K, then G, F, D, and K have to be in harmonic conjugation. Uh, this should be a K instead of a C. Um, okay. But then if uh, G, F, D, and K are in harmonic conjugation, then by the converse of that theorem, since G, E, F, um, the E, D is the angle bisector of it, um, because those four points are in harmonic conjugation, then by the converse of that same theorem, 
that means that angle DEK has to be 90 degrees. Um, so I'm going to write that out here. Um, so because ED is an angle bisector of GEF, um, and also these four points, GF, DK, are in harmonic conjugation, then that means that ED has to be perpendicular to EK. Um, so that theorem is an if and only if. So if uh, you have an angle bisector uh, and you have four points in harmonic conjugation, that, or then the four points are in harmonic conjugation if and only if angle DEK is a right angle. So we used the, the theorem both ways here, but the point is that both DEK is 90 degrees and DA and DAK is 90 degrees. So all four points have to lie on a circle with diameter DK. So AE, D and K lie on a circle with diameter DK. And so that means that, um, so, so I'm gonna use this fact later. Um, but one thing to note is that, so we, we noted up here that ED is perpendicular to EK, but ED is also perpendicular to DC. So um, there I just drew, the, drew that circle with, um, passing through the four points. But, but like I mentioned, ED is perpendicular to EK, but it's also perpendicular to DC. So that means that um, EK has to be parallel to DC. So that's the part of the proof where we use that angle EDC is 90 degrees. Um, and once you know that, the problem kind of collapses. Um, so what do we what do we ultimately want to show? We want to show angle BAD is equal to angle FDC. Um, and we can do that by an angle chase now, because since we know that EK is parallel to CD, we know that angle EKD is equal to angle FDC. And so that comes into handy in our angle chase. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Um, so I drew an EK and we have angle BAD, uh, it's equal to angle EAD. Uh, and EAD is equal to angle EKD. That's where we use that, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. And angle EKD is equal to angle KDC. That's where we use that EK is parallel to CD. And angle KDC is equal to angle FDC, and that solves the problem. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I know it's probably a shorter um, solution than some of my other videos I've posted, but I like this idea of using, I think it's called the Apollonius circle, but um, so I'm sure there's other ways to solve this problem, but I, I wanted to post this problem on my, on my channel because I feel like this concept could be very valuable in, in many problems, where if you have two angle bisectors uh, and they both kind of subtend, the two angles subtend the same side and the angle bisectors meet at the same point, then you have to sort of have this um, circle uh, with diameter DK. Um, so, but yeah, I'd, I'd still love to see other solutions. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.